Now, after you've added an account administrator to your GoDaddy account, you will see the administrator appear on the list under current account administrators. You'll also notice there's an option to revoke their permissions. Very useful for when the administrator is done with the task or job that you gave them to do. But if this is the first time you set up this account administrator, they do not yet have any permissions to revoke. So let's imagine you have a hosting account, web hosting that you set up with GoDaddy as well as a domain, and you need help with this hosting, either altering a current website or setting up a brand new website on this hosting. All you have to do is click products, click web hosting, click launch on any of your hosting accounts. The reason for this is, this is just the shortest route to set this up. So under the hosting account, you just opened the header hosting details. There's a link called change account, click change account. After you click change account, you'll again see a list of your hosting accounts in a different format. To add an account admin, simply check the hosting you want to add an administrator to. And now you can click account admin. Here you can check administrator infrastructure or content. I recommend minimum administrator, but please check all of them and you will make life easier both for yourself and for the administrator that you assign to this hosting account. You can also add a new user if you have not yet added any account administrators to your GoDaddy account. All you have to do now is click close. And within a few minutes, the account administrator in his GoDaddy account will see a list under accounts you manage. That's all. Thank you for watching.